Hello guys, Flanker here. Recently I got a bit of cave for World Warships. I've played little less than 100 battles and so far I enjoy the game a lot. In this video I'm going to talk about the tier 4 Japanese destroyer, Isukaze. I'm sorry if I didn't pronounce that right. For those who don't know, the destroyers are the smallest and fastest ships in the game. They're intended to escort larger vessels, torpedoes are their main weapon, Slow ships, like the battleships, are their main targets. Once fully upgraded, Isukaze's combat capability is 10,300. Combat capability are the hit points the vessel has. When you want to shoot at an enemy destroyer, most of the times it will be more efficient if you shoot them with high explosive shells instead of armor piercing. Because AP will just go through the ship without destroying various models. So, the Isukaze uses Four 120mm guns that aren't anything special, but still will manage to do some damage. The rate of fire is ok, the accuracy is good, maximum damage with high explosive is a little above 1000 and the chance of fire caused by high explosive is 7%. AP shells maximum damage is around 2000, firing range is 9.1km once fully upgraded, which actually isn't that bad. Let's see the torpedoes now. We got three torpedo stands, each one with two torpedo tubes. That means we fire six torpedoes at maximum. The torpedoes are 533 mm. Reload time is 47 seconds, which is quite good. 180 degree turn time is 7.2 seconds. Maximum damage is around 14,400. Torpedo speed is also good with 68 knots and the range is 7 km which is way better than the range the American destroyers have. There are two 40mm anti-aircraft guns. Maximum speed is 34 knots which is quite fast. Turning circle radius is 530 meters and rudder shift time is 3.5 seconds. Surface detectability range is 6.1 km, which means you get spotted around that range. And air detectability is 2.8 km. Since some other ships have longer radius on the anti-aircraft guns, and you don't want to get spotted sometimes, pressing the P key stops the anti-aircraft gun so you remain unspotted until the aircraft come to close. On the Isukaze we don't have that problem because our anti-aircraft is short-ranged at about 2.2 km and we are already going to be spotted at that range. The video quality may not be the best because there isn't a replay system right now and I must record every game I play. Let's get on with the game. Since we know we get spotted at around 6 km, I can just scout to see what ships they have. So, they have 3 cruisers coming on this side on the map plus a battleship. Fire the torpedoes and now I use the smoke scroll, which is given only on destroyers. That way you can stay hidden in close distances because you don't want to get focused. Another good way to use smoke screen is to protect your teammates. That tier 4 Phoenix class cruiser didn't pay attention and three of the torpedoes damaged. almost destroyed him. Enemy Plus, one of the damaged. torpedoes critically damaged him and caused flooding on his ship, which means he'll have to use his repair kit or he'll die. When launching torpedoes, there are two types of spreads you can launch them. Narrow spreads we used earlier on the Phoenix, which are better at long ranges, and wider spreads we used right now to increase our chances of hitting him, because we need only one torpedo to destroy him. Also, wider spreads can be used when a lot of enemies are near each other. Enemy cruisers suck! 
We are in a bad position. Cruiser is shooting at us and a destroyer is behind us. Since the enemy cruiser used high explosive shells, we catched fire and had to use the repair kit. And his next battery fire managed to hit our tail and damaged our steering gear. That means we must wait about 40 seconds to fix that. Fire to those torpedoes in case we catch the enemy battleship that isn't spotted right now. One torpedo managed to hit the other battleship. Here I make a stupid mistake. I fire all my torpedoes for the enemy destroyer, who can easily dodge them, because I was too carried away to see that a battleship is going for us. Let's speed up ahead again. We managed to catch the enemy team's carrier and by the way, when shooting at carriers, always shoot HE until you make them catch fire, that way they won't be able to use their aircrafts. After that you can shoot them with AP.
and unfortunately the battle time is over and we cannot get the enemy battleship. Fifty K damage is quite nice, nothing special but not bad either. Let's show another game with the Isukaze. Again, I skipped some parts of the battle because nothing interesting happens and I don't want to make this video too long. Really bad torpedoes this time. I expected the battle to go towards us since he decided otherwise, and our range of the torpedoes is only 7 kilometers. He managed to escape. Or maybe he has played the game for some time and knows why you shouldn't poke out of islands when on the other side stands a destroyer. He hit that island and basically dodged our torpedoes. But we can shoot again because we have an awesome rate of fire on the low tier Japanese destroyers. From the 6th tier up, the rate of fire of the torpedo tubes is 2 times less the rate of fire we have now. Since I didn't pay attention that I have a friendly destroyer near me, I was almost going to hit the torpedoes. Luckily we managed to turn in time and slow our speed. Our teammate even apologized when actually it was our own fault, we didn't pay attention. Four out of six torpedoes hit the enemy cruiser and battleship. Enemy heavily damaged. Some server lag here. And now it's hunting time. Let's speed up again till our team gets that enemy destroyer.
this time we managed to hit 83,000 damage with torpedoes and almost 6k damage with the 120mm guns. Anyways, I hope you found this video helpful. I'm still learning the game, there's a lot to be desired, and I'll try to make the future videos of World Warships better. Anyways, see you on the next video.